Hi, welcome to this presentation. My name is Sachin Shirodkar and with me I have Abhay Radhakrishnan. In this presentation, we will be showing you how to configure OpenShift so that users can log into OpenShift using LDAP. OpenShift offers several ways in which you could set up authentication. One of those ways and the focus of this video is LDAP. Abhay will be for setting up an LDAP server for which he will be using the Red Hat Identity Manager. And then after that, I will demonstrate how to integrate OpenShift with that LDAP server. Thanks, Sachin. We will be using the Red Hat Identity Manager as the LDAP server for the OCP IDP integration. This Grain Tower Ansible project is capable of standing up a bash and host GitLab Red Hat Identity Management Server as well as the Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform. Then we'll be creating an SSH key pair in the .ssh directory. Then we will start the agent on the background. We will add the private key and we'll make a copy of this example secretsware.yaml. Let's go ahead and review this file. We will just do the RHIDM server. So I'm going to comment the rest of the things that are not required. And here we need to put the public key, the one that we just created. Since the RHIDM server is going to be created on the AWS, we need the access key and the secret. I'm going to comment here and going to pass them as a parameter into this particular playbook. Now we will run the Ansible playbook with the secret dash vars.yaml file passing the variables and also the AWS credentials. This process will take some time. Now the IDM server is running and the host name is displayed here. That is the IDM server host. Now the IDM server creation process is successfully completed. If there is an issue, you can re-execute the same command and this particular process is immutable. So already completed steps will be executed for you quickly and it will only go about the new steps. I'm logging into the RHIDM server now. Admin. And the password uh, can be taken from here. As you can see, that admin and 10 other users are successfully created. Now Sachin will demonstrate how to integrate this Red Hat Identity Management LDAP server to the OCP as an IDP provider. Thanks Abhay for setting up the Red Hat Identity Manager. We will be using that as an LDAP server to authenticate against. Under the authentication tab, I can see a bunch of certificates out here. So I'll pick the first one and let's download this certificate. We will be needing this certificate later on when we configure OpenShift. So let's head on to OpenShift now and configure the LDAP identity provider out there. So I'm logged into OpenShift and I have the cluster admin privileges. I am using the administrator perspective and if we scroll down to the administration menu, we can see cluster settings out here. Under cluster operators, we can see that there is an authentication cluster operator. And this is the one that we will be using to add our new identity provider. So if we go into this, this cluster uh, operator, we can see that there are a few related objects. And for OAuth, there is a cluster uh, OAuth configuration. So we will be editing this configuration in order to add the LDAP identity provider. So let's take a look at this uh, configuration. Um, under the identity providers, we can see that there is currently only one identity provider, which is the HT password one. Also, there is the YAML configuration under which we can see that only the HT password identity provider is present. So there are many ways in which you could add an LDAP identity provider 
one way is to just edit this yaml file and click on save and uh, your changes will be applied another way to add the identity provider is by using oc commands through the command line uh, but for now what we will be using is a form for adding all of the information and to do that we'll click on this add menu and select LDAP. So this form is asking for a lot of information. Um, first thing we need to provide is a name for our configuration and uh, you could call it anything. Let's just call it LDAP auth. Next, it's asking for an LDAP URL and the URL is supposed to be in the RFC 2255 format. So it begins with the scheme, which is LDAP over TLS followed by the host name of our LDAP server, followed by the default port. For uh, this scheme, LDAP S, the default port is 636. So after this, we need to provide the common names and the domain components. The bind DN or distinguished name is nothing but the UID of admin followed by the common names and the domain components. Next, we need to put in the bind password. The bind password is nothing but the password for the admin user on the LDAP server. The mapping for the attributes is already done and is correct. Only thing missing is the email attribute for which we can add mail as the corresponding field and then next we need to add the certificate so the certificate that we downloaded earlier uh, needs to be added out here so let's click on browse and look for that certificate okay so i have added the certificate out here and we're all set so let's click on the add button okay so we can see that a new identity provider is listed out here ldap auth but it is not yet effective right now if we go to the yaml configuration we can see the new entry for the ldap and uh, for the certificate as well there is a new config map that has been added so let's go back and check the authentication operator. So now the status has changed to progressing. And while this is getting updated, let's check a few things. So under workloads, under secrets, we should be able to see one new bind password secret that has been created. So the key to this secret is bind password and the value is the admin user's uh, password. Similarly, under config maps, we can see a new config map that has been created and its value is the certificate that we uploaded. So let's head back and see where the authentication server is. Great, so we can see that the status has changed to available now. So that means the changes are in effect now and we should be able to test them out. So let's log out. And now we can see that our new LDAP auth option is now available for logging in. So if we click on this, the user is admin and let's put in the password for it. Great, so we were able to log in and we can see the name of the administrator user out here. Let's try one more user. So I logged out and then we go back in. Let's try the user zero this time. Great, so this also worked. We can see student user zero as the name of that particular user. So let's Go back in and log in as the cluster administrator again and see the user management menu. And under here, 
under users we can see that the two users that we logged in with have been added so that means our configuration is successful and all the users that are on the LDAP server can now log into OpenShift using the LDAP option.